What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about Cydia. Now, I didn't really know where to start this video, so I figured let's just start at the very beginning of Cydia. Because Cydia is where it all started back in the day. The first jailbroken iPhone was back in 2007, which was the very first iPhone. And that's when Cydia was created, after that device was jailbroken. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but the App Store, the Apple App Store, just celebrated its 10th year. So it just turned 10 very recently. And something you may not have known is that Cydia came before the App Store. Cydia has been around longer than the App Store even existed. That's saying something. How about that for some nostalgia? I mean, that's a really long time to be up and running being managed by a pretty small team, namely Jay Freeman, which is more notably known as Sorik in the jailbreaking world. So if you're a subscriber to the Jailbreak subreddit, then you probably know this because it gets posted pretty often, but if you don't know, Cydia is not just something that Sorik came up with all on his own. He didn't make up that word. It's actually a moth, Cydia pominella. It's a scientific word for a coddling moth, or more commonly known as an apple worm. Get it? Sork thought he was pretty clever. So like I said, the first jailbroken iPhone was back in 2007. And Cydia was created in order to install, you know, all your tweaks, all your themes, or basically any third-party software that Apple was blocking you from downloading and putting onto your device. Now, it was a huge deal when the first iPhone was jailbroken and allowed these types of things to be installed. But it was still something that a lot of people knew about, but they didn't actually take part in it. Now, I'm not sure on the exact number, but I don't think there were a ton of people that were jailbreaking their devices like there are today. But later on down the road, jailbreaking became a little bit more mainstream than it was before. And every iteration of the jailbreak, Cydia didn't really change all that much. It was functional and it worked, and there was a lot of work put into Cydia to make it functional on every other iOS, as well as being still compatible on older devices, but at the same time, there wasn't a whole lot to the layman user that it was changing with Cydia. There were no UI updates. Well, there were a few, but they were minor, but nothing really changed with Cydia. And now you might say, well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well. It's been like 11 years, and Cydia has been the only package manager that anybody has ever used on a jailbroken device. There have been some people and some developers that have come up with, you know, these Cydia alternatives, but they didn't go anywhere. They literally went nowhere. There was a lot of promise on a couple of these, and I used to know the names of all of them at one point, but I couldn't tell you the name of one of them right now. So Cydia always triumphed over any other package manager that was, you know, trying to come in and steal Cydia's thunder. Now, Sorix maintained Cydia and made it work with every single iteration of the jailbreak, and I commend him for that. I think it's awesome. It was great. But at the same time, he's gone dark. We haven't heard anything from him in quite some time. But since he's been dark for so long, it's really hard to just blindly follow Sorix when we're not hearing anything from him. If he wanted people to stick around and wait for his update, he would say something somewhere on Twitter, on Reddit, anywhere he would post something that said something relevant to either Cydia or the jailbreak. And nobody's seen that. Because if Cydia is not going to be updated, do we need to create an alternative? Do we need another package manager to take Cydia's place? Like if you're done with Cydia, okay, thanks. We appreciate the good run. It was awesome. There's a lot of memories bundled up in Cydia, but at the same time, you can't have people, literally over 100,000 people, sitting here waiting for Cydia to be updated. I really just don't think that he's terribly interested in that aspect of the jailbreaking world anymore. I mean, he's still lobbying for jailbreaking to be completely legal, and that's awesome and amazing. And it's actually mind-numbingly ridiculous to even think for a second that jailbreaking your device would be illegal, but Sorik is out there in court lobbying to keep jailbreaking legal. That's the most important thing, honestly. That's more important than Cydia. That's more important than a jailbreak for a specific firmware. He is putting his time and effort into keeping jailbreaking legal. So what he is doing is important, but at the same time, Cydia is pretty important too. So here's my thought process. On one hand, Sorik maintains Cydia, and we need Cydia updated for this jailbreak and every other future jailbreak. If Sorik updates Cydia, then I'll use Cydia. But if he doesn't, then there's literally no other option other than moving away from Cydia. So the question is, what do we do? How do we keep the jailbreak alive and going strong and as functional as possible without Cydia? Well, you create a new package manager. And apparently there's a new package manager coming out called Cileo or Cilio. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I found several pronunciations on the internet. But like I said, Cydia means apple worm, and Cileo is a Latin word that means be still, rest, be silent, hush. And it's also literally a dog medication. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. Check this out. Using a syringe, Cileo is easily administered between the cheek and gum, allowing for transmucosal absorption. 
because Saleo is formulated to provide a low dose of dexmedotomidine, the dog remains calm yet fully functional and is able to interact normally with family. It's basically Xanax for puppies. Saleo is Xanax for puppies. So, Cydia, apple worm. Saleo, be still, rest, calm, hush. <laughs> so, it's basically just like, sit the down and shut the up. That's what Saleo means. Okay, maybe I'm having a little bit too much fun with this. It says the literal translation in English is restart, which makes a little bit more sense. So what can we expect from Saleo? Well, we can expect a brand new and much more modern design compared to Cydia. Maybe new default repos, the ability to transfer your Cydia purchases over to Saleo. Adding sources seems to be much faster. Coolstar actually posted an unlisted video, but it's basically just showing him adding some sources where, you know, it just seems to be a whole lot quicker. And possibly just a lot more features and improvements improvements uh, to Cydia. So hopefully they're going to hear some of the pain points or they already know some of the pain points of Cydia and they're going to make Saleo much more streamlined and feature rich. Something that I think would be absolutely awesome is if they had a tweak like feature like swipe for more built into Saleo. So being able to swipe on those uh, sources or tweaks or anything and being able to install or queue up tweaks, anything like that, that just makes the entire user experience of Cydia so much better. So it'd be nice to have that in Saleo as well. Now, if you guys don't know what Swipe for More is, I'll have a link in the description below of uh, my tweak video. But in reality, I can't tell you a whole lot about Saleo because I don't know a whole lot about Saleo. So we're gonna have to wait until it's actually released and then I can do a proper review of it once I get it on my device. And I'll go over features, I'll go over changes, I'll go over UI, I'll go over everything for you guys. So if you guys want to be notified when that happens, make sure you subscribe and you turn on those bell notifications. So here are my final thoughts on the entire issue. And please let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below, because I'm gonna be reading every single comment. But I have massive respect for Sorik and everything that he's done and still does for the jailbreaking community. But having said that, if he's not going to let his intentions known, then there's absolutely no reason whatsoever that we should sit around and wait. Because all it takes is a Reddit post, all it takes is a tweet on his Twitter to let us know what's going on, what he's doing. Is he actively working on this or is he left it in the dust? If he doesn't want to work with us on the electric jailbreak, that's the jailbreak that's out. That's the jailbreak that 100,000 plus people have jailbroken their devices with. It's here to stay. But right now there needs to be an alternative. And I think competition is always a good thing. Always a good thing. If Saleo comes out and then Cydia is updated after the fact, I think the jailbreak users should be able to choose which package manager they want to use. I don't think Coolstar or the Electra team should make that decision for jailbreak users, but I also don't think that Coolstar or the Electra team should have to patch Cydia in every way possible just to make it work. So I guess what I'm saying is if the Cydia update comes out, I hope the Electra team doesn't put up any walls in order to block Cydia from being used on their jailbreak or just make it difficult to use. I mean, the whole point of jailbreaking is opening up your device and having the freedom to do whatever you want to with it. So I think anything that blocks something from being used on a jailbreak is a massive step backwards. And Sorik has a reputation in the jailbreak community to be notoriously trusted in any code that he writes. You know what he's doing is safe and secure because he cares about his users' information and their privacy. And on the other hand, the Electra team has been around for a little while, but they don't have the tenure or the maturity that Sorik does. So the fact that the rise of the Electra team is great for the jailbreak community, I still think they need to mature as a team and figure out a way to be not so combative and drama-inducing on social media if they plan on being the next household name in jailbreaking. I mean, at this point, based off his old Reddit comments, I don't think he's gonna be updating City of Four Electra whatsoever. Apparently, Coolstar and Sork don't really like each other and they don't work well together in whatever capacity that they tried to previously. Now, it wouldn't surprise me at all if somebody else came out with an iOS 12 jailbreak other than the Electra team and then Sork decided to update Cydia. So really, I feel like it's kind of up in the air what happens with Cydia and the future of Cydia. It could very much depend on who develops the next jailbreak and who releases it. All right, guys, I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this whole thing. I know a lot of people are upset that the Electra team is wanting to move everyone away from Cydia to use their new Saleo package manager. And then there's other people that are totally stoked about the package manager because it's new, it's fresh, it's hopefully going to run better and faster with new UI, all this good stuff, all the bells and whistles. So just let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. I swear I'm going to be reading every single one of them. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, 
make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything jailbreak or any other tech that I want to cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn those bell notifications on, and I'll see you in the next video.